Hey, I'm Charlotte. And I'm Daryl. And we are the, the bakers. bakers. And we're here with the truth regarding marriage, our podcast. Yes. Yes. And during this climate, during this season, we wanted to start off our first podcast talking about the real. So, everyone's supposedly at home, right? You're supposed to be self-quarantining, social distancing. So, we want to know how that's working for you as a married couple. Or your family. Or your family. But let's start with the marriage first. So, okay, you're at home every day with your spouse, if that's the case. How's that working for you? <laughs> we want it out. How's that working for you? What do you think, honey? <laughs> yeah. We know that this is a, a climate here, basically, that really requires change, right? Mm-hmm. So we have to basically change our our position, change our perspective, and change the way that we've been conducting business. Okay, yes. it's no longer business as usual because of the fact that most of us are spending more time at home mm-hmm. you know with your family with your spouse now you have to be more uh, thoughtful as to what it is that you're going to do because yes. um, normally we out and about people yes. are doing what they do they yes. go to work they go here they go there yes. and they're doing it without even thinking about it because of the fact that these we are creatures of habit so <laughs> therefore we just basically do things based upon habit and now we have to be more conscious as to what it is that we're doing. And then we have to be more pur- purposeful of That's where we're we, we going as yes. well, right? So now, what are you doing or what have you learned about yourself during this season? Yes, doing this. this I season, think we're almost, yes. this will be what, the second weekend coming up mm-hmm. since they just kind of officially said quarantine or stay in, stay out. So you're going to really get to know about you because this is a good time to what? To read, to focus, to cast vision because this is not the end. So to cast vision. And also you're going to learn maybe a little bit more about your spouse because you're going to be looking at them literally 24-7. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you're working from home. A lot of people are working from home. Yes. So that could be a good thing and maybe yeah, not challenging. so good. It yeah. could be challenging, yeah. but still yet it's durable. Mm-hmm. Okay, because of the fact that you can still yet learn something about your spouse and be able to take advantage of this opportunity of spending quality time together and then uh, making sure that you're uh, doing things, you know, that's, um, that's, that's out of the norm, so to speak. Um, one of the things that we've done, uh, basically was, um, we, we played some family games. Yes. We haven't done that in a minute. We haven't done that in a while. So we had some time basically <laughs> to do some family things and to play some family games. And it's been really great. And kind of whip on, on each other, you know, on these <laughs> games, you know, who's winning, who's winning. <laughs> And then uh, I had the opportunity of really spending some time uh, basically uh, doing some outside work as well and, you know, washing the car and and cleaning the the vehicle up as well. So that's another thing that you can do also. And uh, whatever... And then uh, maybe cooking, you know, developing those those, uh, yeah. those cooking skills. Yeah, I mean, we cook around here. I know some of you wives out there, you cook, but now you really are having to cook because you're staying out. Or at least I hope we hope you're staying out of the restaurants unless you're going to pick up or something like that. So now it's really causing us to think again about menus, what we're going to serve, what we're going to eat. Sometimes we cook, sometimes we just kind of kind of wing it. <laughs> so I would be we will be really wanting to know what you what you guys are doing now we don't want to allow the single folk that may be listening to this to feel out of place at all although our ministry is to married couples we still have a heart for an unmarried couple unmarried individuals if i can get it out so we want to know too what are you doing in this time of social distancing just to hit us up so we can stay connected to you as well but as far as our couples, it's really, I can only imagine. We have one child, right? Mm-hmm. Blessed with one. What about people with three, four, five, and six? Multiple. Oh, my goodness. I can imagine their houses are what? Jumping, honey. Wouldn't you say? And what yeah. if they only had, I read this scenario uh, about a, a household that had multiple children, but they only had one electronic device. So now they're trying to fight over... <laughs> Who's going to get on that device? Who's going to do this? How long they're going to be on it? So we are truly grateful. We're grateful for the one we have. 
But that's an adjustment. If you have multiple children, you need to tell us, we would love for you to tell us, put it that way, what you're doing in this time, in this season, because we don't know the end date for this. So it's, it's going to take some practice. It's going to take some thinking, some planning to really think about how you're going to navigate through this. Because again, you're in a space, whether you're in a home, whether you're in an apartment, you're still in that space and you're limited to your mobility. So what are some of the questions you came up with, honey? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the questions I, I came up is, uh, what have you learned about yourself? I think it's uh, important to for us to to understand how we are growing and then what we are actually observing or what how we are benefiting from the the, the current climate that we're in as well and so and then um, if you're learning something about yourself is it is it good bad or indifferent mm-hmm. okay and so um, I think one of the things I've learned about myself is that um, I enjoy uh, being you know, family oriented. I enjoy being around my family. I enjoy spending time, you know, with them. I don't look for, you know, activities outside of, uh, outside of the household, so to speak, unless of course I'm going to play some golf. Okay. But I haven't done that in a while as well. So that's one of the things I really like doing, but, uh, also like, you know, being, um, being in the midst of my family and um, being able to uh, connect and re- reconnect as well. So what have you learned about yourself? You know, that's a rhetorical question, of course. Uh, we cannot get your response at this precise moment in time, right. but you can still yet, you know, reach out to us and, and kind of give us some insight as to what it is, what is, what have you learned about yourself? And one of the things... Yes. You know that life does you know pro- provide provide us it's, it's, it's inevitable that change will will come you know n- no matter you know if the climate is changing no matter if you're changing your perspective and as you grow older you're changing uh, uh, features about you are changing and then things around us are changing as well so how are you changing you know, in this uh, climate as well. And one of my questions would be, what do you miss? So when I think about, I love, of course, I love my family, I love being able, what do you miss? So because, you know, as a woman, I like to chat. <laughs> I'm the type of woman that likes to chat over coffee. So I think if I said one of the things I'm missing, I miss, you know, hanging out with friends and just having a cup of coffee. I mean, we could talk on the phone, but you know, that person to person contact, just the idea of that. I kind of miss that. You know, chatting it with the ladies, you know, uh, because I think the last time I chatted with someone person to person is over probably a couple of weeks in person, I'm saying. I've been talking, of course, people on the phone. So I kind of miss that. And of course, it wouldn't be the same if you're doing video conference. I mean, you can do that, but it's not the same of that commonality of being in the presence with other ladies. So that's one thing I miss, but I know it's not forever. I'm just trying to throw that out there. What's another question you, you had come up with that you think people may be thinking about during this season? Did you have another question on there? Mm-hmm. So are you, I think this would probably be the last question. So are you as a spouse, do you think this, this is kind of like, I guess a question you can answer if you hit us up. Let me tell you, we can hit us up. You can go to our website, enrichmymarriage.com, but you can also go to our email address, enrichingyourmarriage at gmail.com to answer this if you like. So as a married couple, do you think this is going to bring you closer this bonding time or is it going to get on your nerves this is a funny one <laughs> is it going to be bring you closer and what can you do to bring you closer as opposed to it getting on your nerve being in the house so that's just something to think about so if you if you want to answer that you know go to our, our email yes yeah i have a question and my question is this is what can you do or uh, to work on to improve a area in your marriage during this time because mm. now you have some time to perhaps work on it, think about it, uh, to explore what those options are, and then you know make those determinations and make those um, make the change. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's and good. that's something to work on as well because I think sometimes life itself basically you know causes us to be in separate spaces and places because life can be busy and so now you have some time to think about it and not run away from those areas in which you know that it needs improvement or needs some work then 
What are you willing to do? And then, of course, you know, how can you achieve it as well? So so we're going to end it with that because we just wanted to give you a little teaser about some of the things we're going to be talking about. Like I said, we want to have honest communication about, you know, being married. What's that like? I think it would be beneficial for those that are engaged or those that are thinking about getting married sometime in the future to so just think about when certain things come that we have no control over, how do we handle it? How do we work through it? Okay. So again, check out our website, enrichmymarriage.com. You can check us out also on um, YouTube. I had to think about our social media sites, Marriage Enrichment, The Bakers. You can tweet us, tweet us during this, this time and season. Please do that. Marriage Enrichment the bakers at destiny arrive and again make sure you're if you have like a group of couple friends make sure you stand in contact with them make sure you're encouraging them maybe you do need to do a video conference say hey i know we haven't seen each other in a while but at least we're seeing each other on video conference or whatever but make sure you're checking on your neighbors checking on your relatives during this season to make sure you keep encouraging others that this too shall pass and it will be soon okay so with that being said that's that's it for for now. We we gonna look forward to seeing some emails from some people that decide to give us some answers about what they're doing, how they're coping, and that'll be great. Okay, send us some activities that you're doing during this time of social distancing. We would love to hear that. All right, so I'm Charlotte, and I'm Daryl, and we are the Bakers, and we are here with the truth about relationships, about marriage in particular, and we will be talking to you soon. Peace out. Have a good time. Whatever you're gonna be doing this evening. All right. Bye bye.